Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain Gauss's law for electric field with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I'll cover statement, case studies, and example based on Gauss's law for electric field. So let us start this video with first agenda that is statement of Gauss's law for electric field. The Gauss's law for electric field states that amount of flux passing through enclosed surface is charge divided by epsilon naught. So basic statement of Gauss's law for electric field is total flux passing through any closed surface is equal to charge divided by epsilon naught. In my last video, I have explained electric flux electric flux that is integration of electric field with respect to surface for any closed surface total flux passing through closed surface is charge divided by epsilon naught that is the basic statement of Gauss's law for electric field let me explain that graphically let us consider closed surface over here and inside closed surface let us say we have charge q so but obviously because of charge q there will be electric field you can observe by blue color electric field is shown one should know one thing see if you have positive charge then from positive charge electric field will emerge right it will emerge so here see from positive charge electric field is emerging right so for enclosed surface total flux that is electric field dot surface integration right so here total flux is charge enclosed over here divided by epsilon naught that is a basic statement and i have seen students are having some queries based on flux calculation like you can observe here flux is mentioned as per charge so in some books you might have observed this definition where they mention total flux is surface integration of electric flux density d so instead of electric field in some books flux is mentioned as per integration of electric flux density with respect to surface so in this situation this flux will be charged right so don't get confused based on the units you can understand this but some books considered that flux is surface integration of electric field and in some books you might have observed that they are considering flux as a surface integration of electric flux density so if you have surface integration of electric field as a electric flux in that case you can say for enclosed surface flux is charge divided by epsilon naught and if you consider electric flux densities surface integration in that case electric flux that will be total charge for enclosed surface right now let me explain you a few interesting case studies for Gauss's law of electric field see here I am considering two cases you can observe in first case with enclosed surface we have positive charge and with second case with enclosed surface we have negative charge one should know if you have positive charge then electric field will be emerging from the charge right so here you can observe electric field is emerging from the charge right and if you have negative charge in that case electric field that is getting enclosed to the charge right if you have negative charge then electric field that is getting enclosed to the charge so you can observe here electric field that is getting enclosed to the charge right now here as per the Gauss's law of electric field if you have positive charge enclosed then flux is charge divided by epsilon naught where here flux will be positive right as charge is positive so as if you have positive charge enclosed by the surface then flux will be positive 
that will be q by epsilon naught as per e dot ds and that will be q as per d dot ds right but that electric flux is positive for leaving to the surface here electric field that is leaving right and here you can observe we have negative charge so flux over here that will be negative right negative flux means flux is entering to the enclosed surface here you can observe flux that is entering to the enclosed surface so here one thing that you need to note down over here if flux is leaving to the enclosed surface then flux is positive and as if flux is entering to the enclosed surface then flux is negative right so this two points that is very essential that you need to keep in your mind now let me consider one more interesting case study see here we have enclosed surface and here we have charge let us consider this charge is positive so but obviously electric field will be emerging from this charge you can observe right now here see this charge that is not inside enclosed surface charge is not inside enclosed surface it is outside so what happens see because of this charge electric field that will get emerge from this charge it will go in this direction you can observe so over here you will be observing electric field that is entering but over here you will be observing electric field that is leaving right so here see electric field that is entering the enclosed surface and here electric field that is leaving enclosed surface so if you observe this portion then here entering the surface flux is negative i told you that right entering the surface flux is negative so over here flux is negative and you will be observing over here leaving the surface flux is there leaving the surface flux is positive and here in total flux that is zero why the reason is entering flux and leaving flux both are equal over here right and both are having opposite polarity the entering flux is negative leaving flux is positive in total flux that will be zero why the reason is charge is located outside the enclosed surface right now i'll explain you one very interesting example based on gauss's law of electric field here we need to find total electric flux for given figure so here we have enclosed surface you can observe inside enclosed surface we have charge q1 q2 and q4 and outside enclosed surface charge is q3 and we need to find total electric flux so as and when you calculate total electric flux you will have to calculate total charge enclosed inside surface right so electric flux as per gauss's law for electric field that is surface integration of electric field that is total charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught total charge enclosed over here that is q1 plus q2 plus q4 divided by epsilon naught and in some books you might have observed they are considering electric flux in terms of charge so that will be q1 plus q2 plus q4 but they are considering this because of they are considering electric flux as d dot ds right so students are saying like how do we identify like whether we should consider charge as a flux or q by epsilon net as a flux so that depends on books but as if you talk about competitive examination then in that you will have to see in which unit they are asking you in answer right like if you have answer in terms of voltmeter so in that case your answer will be q1 q2 and q4 addition divided by epsilon naught the voltmeter or weber that is a unit when flux is calculated as per electric field dot ds but as if you have answer in form of coulomb means you are doing surface integration of electric flux density right so that is how based on units one can understand what could be the calculation pattern i hope 
you have enjoyed this session still if anything that i would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video